Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a big money Bolo video for you guys today. These are items that I sold for $35 or more, and one of these is going to. It's really exciting. Let's just say that. I don't know what it's going to do, but. Um... And I have to give credit to my husband on this one because you guys are not going to believe it. <laughs> he finds like the most amazing stuff. Like he doesn't sell a whole lot, but when he scores, he scores. So stay tuned. It's somewhere up in my tabs, but um, we're going to get started here. Um, I've got some decent bolos this time. There's a few $35 ones, but most of them are 40 and up. So Let's get started. All right, these are items what sold on eBay. Um, let's get started. Okay, so the first item is these playbills. And this is from that lot that I got from the estate sale where I found it in a drawer and I have sold so much. And it was the last day of the sale I don't know. Maybe everybody thought it was junk. It was just stuffed in a drawer. I always check the drawers at estate sales and I pulled it all out and I put it in a bag and I took it down and I can't remember what I paid for it all. I probably told you guys like in a video before, but it was not much at all. And there was like signed pieces. Um, I still have some like autographed by the um, people in the cast. It's really, really cool. But anyway, if you want to see something cool, go into my um, eBay store and type in cats and check out that listing. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, anyhow, this sold for $35.20 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's just a mixed lot of playbills. I could have sold them separately, but this I just decided to lot up and sell together. So I'm guessing maybe a reseller is buying this because there's a lot of duplicates. And, you know, they'll make some money. I, I mean, some of the playbills go for decent money. I probably should have listed them separately, but I do that a lot. I'll just be like, oh, I'll let a reseller buy it. Okay. This mother of pearl pin came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay purchase. It was part of that 344 pounds. And this sold for $35 plus shipping. The next item. Okay. I got these at a thrift store. And I want to say, I think they were in like a big bag of stuff and it was like 90% off because it was, I think either right before Christmas or after Christmas. So I got them really cheap. I would say a couple bucks or less, maybe a dollar. And I sold these for $50 plus shipping. These are made in Japan. They do have some issues. Um, I just tried to take pictures of them and... Somebody offered me 50, so I took it. But they are made in Japan, and made in Japan is one of my favorite types of items to look for. I love made in Japan, especially Christmas. I actually have a video on made in Japan items to be on the lookout for, so definitely go check that out. These little skiers are so cute, and I think they might have been in the same bag, or I got them the same day. So again, a couple bucks. They are so cute. And the same person bought these for $50 also. So they're collectible. People like them and people collect them. Um, I could have probably waited until Christmas and held out for more. But with what I had in them, I was like, yep, I'm going to do that. So I went ahead and took it. Here's another one of my um, perfume sales. This sold for $39.60. And the buyer paid shipping. And this is a Vera Wang uh, perfume. And it came from that, uh, I don't want to say bulk buy. It was a, a lot, a large lot of vintage perfumes that I purchased. So I got them very, very cheap. I want to say 50 cents or less. I can't remember the exact number. Okay, so here is one of the as seen on TV items. I keep talking about it and I keep forgetting what it's called. This is the item. Um, I have sold these for more, $45, $50. Uh, right now, the market's kind of down on them. I don't know if it's just because there's so many listed, but I uh, put it on sale and it sold for $35.20. And the buyer did pay the shipping. 
But if you see these, I found three last summer at garage sales and they sell relatively quick. Um, again, I think there's a lot listed right now. So it did take a little bit longer than normal, but typically they sell pretty quick. And for it's a decent bolo in my opinion. So definitely be on the lookout. And I think I probably got this for a buck or two. I think this one had a $2 uh, sticker on it. All right. The next item is this thing. And it's so funny because I think I mentioned this on my Bolo live show, which I have every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are available, definitely come check that out. But I think somebody showed a typewriter and I'm like, oh, I have one of those. But it's like one of those things that I really don't want to ship. So like I send, I, I don't take offers and you know, I don't know, but it was so funny because I said that on the show and then somebody sent me a hundred dollar offer and I'm like, ah, I took it and it was a pain to ship, but it is gone and I'm happy about that. And I got this at a garage sale. Oh gosh. It had, it was a long tail item. Um, I had to wait on the right buyer and I was thinking, I'm surprised it didn't get removed from eBay because it has this word in it right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Um, so anyway, hundred dollars buyer paid shipping. It was a pain to ship. It is so heavy. Um, but I showed here that, you know, it actually, hello, please buy me. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Oh my gosh. I'm so silly. Uh, I was like, what did I write? That is so funny. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. Okay. So it sold for a hundred dollars. I think I paid like 10 or 15 for it, maybe 20. So, all right. The next item is this dragon, vintage dragon heart, Draco dragon. And it's an action figure. And I think it's wings flap. I can't remember. But I sold this for $40.50, definitely a bolo. Um, I have a couple more listed that I have lauded together um, that are the same, like they look very similar, different colors, you know, different style of dragon, but very cool. So $40.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I have no clue what is going on like this week, but I sold, I had three of these they're all different that I got at a garage sale. They're a Japanese kimonos. They're like jackets. This one's a happy coat. And all three of them sold in like the same week, week and a half, something like that. Crazy. I have no idea why. If anybody knows, please enlighten me in the comments. This one sold for $35 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And if you guys could give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm about to show you an amazing sale. I wish it was mine, but it's my husband's. Okay, so we all know that silverware, sterling silver, silverware, or plateware, or not plateware, what do you call it? Um, I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, this stuff, because it's not really called silverware. I mean, it is, but there's another word for it. So these were sterling silver. Okay, are you guys ready for the story? My husband comes home and he's like, you're never going to believe what I got. And I'm like, what? And he took forever. I'm like, why is he so late from work? And he had stopped off at a thrift store and he was digging through silverware and he found it and it was marked sterling. You guys, this is thrown in with silverware, like in a, you know, you go to the thrift stores and they have like the buckets of silverware. He happened to look. 10 cents each he paid you guys 10 cents each yep and he sold it for five hundred dollars so i don't know let's see i don't know how much is here 10 20 34 i think it was less than six bucks he had in all of it and sold it for 500 big ones how cool is that okay so the next ones my Simpsons, more Simpsons sold. Okay, so these are the Burger King figures. If you guys have not seen my Happy Meal toys that sell uh, Bolo items, Bolo Happy Meal toys, definitely go check out that video. I would consider these a Bolo. I sold them for $50. It's not a complete set. If I would have had the complete set, I could have gotten closer to 100. 
But yeah, they're Burger King, The Simpsons. Um, I don't know, little figures. 50 bucks plus shipping. And those came in my Simpsons haul. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out and see how much Simpsons stuff I got for $10. All right, the next item, my brown drip. I sold some more brown drip. Okay, if you guys haven't heard the story, I went to a garage sale. I got all excited because it said like Hall, H-U-L-L. And I got some McCoy and I'm like, ooh, these are going to be bolos. And I bought a whole table of brown drip. And I got home and I figured out that it's called brown drip. And it's not really a bolo at all. <laughs> it is long tail, but I will tell you, I have made great money on these items. And would I do it again? Probably not because I don't like shipping breakables. But um, I sold this for a uh, best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping and they messaged me and they were so excited. So there's people that collect this and probably use it in their home and they like it. You know, it's not a, it's more of a bread and butter, but uh, yeah, I thought I had a big bolo, so not so much, but I still made money. So all is good. All right. More Simpsons. So I sold the police station and I um, also sold this one and the person like added them to their carts. So when you do that, I, you know what? I don't think I have this category on the buy one, get one 10% off. So they just bundled them together and checked out at the same time. No, maybe it did because it sold for $84 for both items. So maybe they did get a discount when they did that. I can't remember. But $84 for this and this. And they paid the shipping. So pretty excited about that. I could have parted out these little toys and probably made a decent profit. Profit Like somebody messaged me and wanted to buy this little white hat. And I'm like, I am sorry, but I am not like going to separate and redo all the pictures so I can sell one little hat. So I didn't do it. But yeah, you can definitely uh, part these things out and like sell the camera, the slingshot. So very, very cool. And the last item I sold, okay, um, it says $22, but they bought two sets. I had two sets. So $44 is what they spent for eight of these. That's why I put it in this video because the sale total was $44. Um, these came from a thrift store. I bought a whole box. These surprisingly have sold relatively fast. This is it. I have one plate, one uh, dinner plate left, and I am sold out. Unbelievable. And I have made a ton of money on these. So Spode, um, Copeland Spode Saucer. These are the saucers. But I had like the dinner plates. I had some bowls. I had some bread plates. So I just bought the whole set and I really am happy with how I um, parted it out. So if you've watched some of my other videos, you guys have seen um, other items that I've sold that have been a part of this set. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. All right. Those are my big money bolos. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share. And I actually had somebody subscribe the other day that has left comments on many, many, many of my videos and they just subscribed. So I was like, hmm. So you guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me and it makes me feel happy. So um, subscribe, like, comment and share. And there was something else. Oh, hit that bell. There's a little bell. And if you hit that bell, it will alert you when I post new videos. So you can like stay on top of things and know when new things are coming out. And as always, thanks for watching. Watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate y'all. Have a great night.